Dan then the fisherman here. Let's take a look at the active captain. So let's just say you have some maps that have some awesome waypoints and you want to put them in your chart plotter. So I have a list on this map of mine of some really cool fishing spots. Uh, sometimes it's covers, sometimes it's rock beds, whatever it is, you can mark them. So let's pull up the app, hit the center button. So it'll get you to your chart. Once you hit the chart button, it's going to pop up. Um, this is my one of my lakes here that I fish quite a bit. So you can see all my waypoints I put in. Um, so we're going to zoom in. And what we're going to do is you're going to press on just a spot anywhere. I zoomed in so you can see. Um, but when you do a long press, it's going to pop up. And it's going to show a uh, waypoint that you created. So once you create that, see that fishing hook? You're going to hit that. And then you can pull it up and we can edit. So now that it's pulled up, we're edit, editing. Um, so you're going to look at your longitude and latitude. That's what we're going off of. You can zoom in on any Google map, any of those maps. Pull up spots where you think you know are great spots to fish that you want your chart plotter to have. <clears throat> and we can start editing these. So I'm putting in some random numbers here. Uh, so latitude just put in, uh, longitude, I'm putting in some values here. Like I say, it's random. Um, this is not going to be actually ended up in the water, but that's what's cool. Um, you can put it anywhere. So <clears throat> we get those entered in. The nice thing about this is that you can also put in descriptions of the fishing area. Um, you can also change your symbol. Um, and anytime you want to view the map after you put in that longitude latitude um, you just hit that center button so it's 136 anytime you ever want to get back to, into it you just press the hook or you know whatever symbol you have so we're going to go back into it we're going to edit it you're going to hit that hook um, so now we're going to do some editing so you can give it a name um, you can change your symbol this one since it looks like we're not even in the water i'm just going to throw a car there you know for whatever reason they have all sorts of symbols here there's some for cover brush trees um the nice thing is you can name them whatever you want um, we're going to go to the bottom here and you can see there's some additional information that you can enter you can enter depth you can enter temperature um, you can enter comments this is a demo um so basically that's what i'm going to put in here so this is the, uh, what are we going to call it? <clears throat> yeah, so let's just call it the video demo. So video demo in the comments. So whenever I reference this on my chart plotter, um, that's what I'll see. Comment and then the name, which makes it easy. So if you have a special spot or a place that's next to a dock, you can say, um, you know, this is uh, whatever lake and uh, whatever dock, you know, if you have a special name for it. And that'll actually show up on your chart plotter when we sync it. So that's another thing I probably won't cover here, maybe another time. But uh, basically, we put in video demo. We're going to hit view on chart. So that's the second button on the right. And so, it, bam, there you go. The symbols up there, uh, the video demo, uh, what we put in. So that's the name. You could call that brush pile one, brush pile two, whatever you want to. Looks like we, our longitude, latitude, put us next to Lake Erie. So, um, yeah, we're up by the Great Lakes, and like I say, we're just kind of messing around here to show you um, what this can do. So we're gonna edit it. Actually, I'm gonna hit the um, pin button, and I created two. So now I have two here. And I'm just going to show you that's okay because you can delete super easy. So that's kind of the end of this video. I'm going to show you, <clears throat> we're going to go into one of them. If you go over to the more all the way to the right. Um, and so I'm just kind of showing what information we have. You click more. Um, <clears throat> and then that actually will allow you to delete. So click delete. So that waypoint's gone. I still have one. I'm going to click it. Um, Go in to edit it, hit the car, and over to the right, click more. 
I'm going to delete this one as well. As well. Uh, no reason to keep it. So delete that. And so there you are. Um, that's how you enter waypoints. Um, you can pull them up from any map. And yeah, super great way to add points um, that you want to fish on. So what you'll do is you'll sync this to your chart plotter. Um, so you just connect to it through Wi-Fi. Hit sync. And all these waypoints you hit on the Active Captain app will automatically sync to your chart plotter. Next time you go fishing, you'll have them available. Hope this helps. Everybody have a great day.